All right, here's another example. We have uh, 2 to the 3x, so I am considering this entire exponent to be 3x, the quantity 3x. So 2 to the 3x equals 16 to the 4th, all right? So again, resist the temptation of multiplying 16 times itself four times. I have no idea what it is. It's some enormous number, and it's not going to help us out in this case. What we want to do is get both of these to be the same base. Because if both of these are the same base, all we gotta do is then set the exponents equal to each other. And then we can just solve and isolate x, okay? So what we need to do in this case is think of what base I could get these both to. And the easiest way to do that, usually, is to look at the smallest base. So here is 16, here is 2, what's smaller? 2. Convert 16 into some form of a base that has a 2, all right? So try to take the, the bigger number that you see, in this case 16, and put it in terms of uh, a base of 2, all right? So how would we do that? All right, so... I, let's, let's set this aside just for a second, all right? Let's just think about 16, all right? Let's think about 16, and let's think about a base of 2. How would I express, how would I express 16 with a base of a 2? I'm going to put a little question mark where the exponent is going to be. What would, what would 2 need to be raised to to equal 16? Meaning, how many times does 2 need to be multiplied against 2 to come up with 16? Okay, well, 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Okay, so this is the expanded version. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 4 2s, all right? 4 2s. So that means that question mark must be 4, okay? 16 equals 2 to the 4th. Okay, so therefore... Therefore, I'm going to take out the 16, and I'm going to put in the equivalent of what 16 is, but with a base of 2. So what is the equivalent? Let's put a parenthesis here. What's the equivalent of 16 with a base of 2? The equivalent, as we just found out, was 2 to the 4th. So I did something very useful here, even though I, and I didn't change anything about the balance of this equation. It, this is still 16 in here, so I didn't change anything, but I made something very useful for me now, because now I have equal bases, and if I have equal bases, like bases, then I can just set the exponents equal to each other. One last step before we set the bases equal, uh, the exponents equal to each other. You see that we have a power raised to another power, power of powers. What do we do when we have a power raised to another power? We multiply, okay? So that would be two to the four times four. Four times four is 16, okay? So that's two to the 16th, all right? Now do you see that we have like bases and now we can set three x equal to 16, okay? So what I'm gonna do that and I'm going to set 3x, 3x is equal to 16. Now, if I just gave you this, this would be 3 times x, okay, equals 16. How do you break the bond of multiplication here? You divide, okay? So it would be dividing. You divide by 3, so that goes away, and that just becomes 1, and the x is isolated. And now it's 16 thirds. So x equals 16 thirds. All right. Now, 16 thirds, not, not a really uh, friendly, cozy number, but it's what we got. And you can't reduce 16 thirds by anything. There, doesn't, there isn't a common factor between 16 and 3. Pro improper fractions are fine. I, I don't mind improper fractions at all. You don't have to make this into a mixed number. You don't need to make it into a decimal. Since you can't reduce 16 thirds anymore, just leave it out as it is. So that's our answer. X equals 16 thirds.